benefit that I love. There are bathrooms here. Uh, parking is actually free even though they have a kiosk. Uh, we always park over here, uh, but this is a really big active area. So there's like baseball fields and tennis courts and so this is where we go to hike. Here's a trail map with a picture of all of the vistas and features. Um, it's a pretty small park, and this is an out and back, as you can see. But uh, it's still a very, very pretty hike. And here's some wildlife that we might see, and hopefully not. Right? Gross. There's Matt taking a picture of our car. That's a car guy. And Bandit, what you got? A stick? That was fast. All right, someone start their zoomies early. All right, cutie, let's go. In the beginning part of the trail is pretty uh, cute because they have all these signs like about wildlife and stuff. And look, how cute is this? Fall. During summer, they actually have um, book pages for little kids on each of these. And so I guess it promotes like walking and then taking a little break because kids are little and they got little legs. Oh look, they did do it. So this is the fall book. Colors bursting, shadows tall. There's lots to celebrate, it's fall. Here's the next page. I'm not gonna read all the pages. You have to come visit to find out what happens in the story. Yeah, parking lot's right there. And look, a beautiful V of geese. Where y'all going? They're gonna go geese it out. <laughs> Sometimes we get the zoomies too. We just start running randomly. He does. try this at home. Also, don't tell our moms. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's like, it's a pretty significant drop. Good job, baby. I'm glad you're safe. <laughs> ben is more worried, if anything. Someone is going to stick crazy. We got flea and tick collar on him, by the way, so don't worry. And look at this beautiful view. There's the Hudson. And the whole entire trail walks along this. And so we'll find... Oh, no! Mud! We'll find a vista to look out at it.
it creates new life for other animals. That's what I need. What are you guys doing? Marina. bad. The leaves are still up. They're not all down yet. It's very pretty out. Think you can walk on that? The water? Oh, no, out like there? No, I don't. It's like marsh. Uh, Look out. We're heading to the last leg of our hike. And this part, Matt says he's naturally occurring. I believe him, but like, is that not the weirdest thing? Right? There's these like pools. It has a corner. You know, sometimes I think nature doesn't make lines, but it clearly does. Uh, during summer and raining season, this whole thing is filled like a swamp. And it leaves us right here at the single trail path. Which is very cool. So we did our turnaround. Uh, the turnaround is basically you walk around that uh, that weird pool square thing. So now we're gonna walk back, and um, the walk back's just as beautiful. So hopefully we'll see some features worth filming. Half miles oh, so it's a three mile loop three essentially. Miles. All right, not bad, especially for like, yeah, a short dig. There's a little Scotty chasing us. We don't know him. We don't know him, Dan. Sometimes iffy with other dogs. Besides cute little dogs, who likes cute little dogs? <clears throat> Alright, we're making moves. Okay. Here he comes, here comes little Scotty. Here he comes on the lucky. Okay. <laughs> Let's go, man. Let's go. <laughs> little doggy chasing us. All right, let's go. All right, man, let's go. All right, baby, let's go. <laughs> we got friends. We got friends joining us. All right, here we go. <laughs> He's trying to join our hike. <laughs> hey, 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 stop whooping. <laughs> I 
All right, the hike is now turned into a jog. <laughs> this way, man. Are you chasing us? Yeah. All right, let's go. Okay, guys. We got away from that really cute, tiny white dog. And, uh, I mean, we just don't know the dog, and the owner wasn't there. And so we decided to run away from it. And I gave it little pets to block. And then it started sniffing, and I ran away from it. And so did Matt and Bandit. And now we don't see him, but he uh, he tried to follow us for a good good amount. And um, I mean, I was like this close to giving Bandit a little brother. And so hopefully we don't see him again or kidnap might happen. Okay, no lie, this dog is still chasing us. Matt just saw it dart through the trees. I can't catch it, but he's there. Got a lot of nice, nice trees around here. This American beach, I guess. And then, uh oh, did we get a tick? All right, good. Over here we have our sugar maples. Is that right? Oh, cool. So we get maple syrup from these trees, which makes sense. Calling them a sugar maple. But yeah, we're gonna head back now to our car. Right, as Matt pointed out, this sugar maple is among the four species of maple that are tapped to produce maple syrup. And this one's preferred because of its high sugar content. And so this is the most common maple tree in New England and the Mid-Atlantic States. Very cool. Yeah, if you watch any of our Vermont, Vermont videos, we got a bunch of maple syrup and it's been so delicious. Yeah, it's such a nice path. Oh, they're trying to stick from before. Oh yeah, big stick from before. All right, that concludes our hike. Ah, I almost fell. It's very rudy and rocky here. And so, uh, Matt, any highlights about the hike that you like? Yeah, there's a couple of good highlights we've had. Uh, the view was really nice, and getting chased by the dog was fun. <laughs> That's true. Uh, I just like this hike overall. It's an easy one, and Van is going crazy today. But uh, yeah, highly recommended. One of the closest hikes you'll get. Um, that's really nice and immersive uh, in New York. And it was a pretty short drive. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Woo! Bye!